Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy you guys are here. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I'm excited to share with you this Dollar Tree shop with me. They had St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. They had some Easter. They had lots of farmhouse decor, spring decor. You guys are going to see. Okay, so let's start with these garden figurine houses. They have a tiki bar, a beach house, a sand castle, and then look at how pretty these are. I must say that the paint job on these are much better. They looked, you know, a little smoother. They have a camper. These are the ones, you know, that they had in previous years. The paint is much more smoother, kind of more of an ombre. Lots of detail on these boats. Look at the fishnet. And then they have the mermaid, the octopus, or a seahorse. Some gold coins the garlands and then they have these that come with eight they also have some gnome ornaments they also have these over here they both have orange beards they have these in the gold or black hats and then they also have these tinsel ones on this side they also have more st patrick's day items they did add these plastic gold coins some of the stuff we see every year and then over on this side they have some new signs welcome here's the look at some of these smaller signs which can also be used as ornaments some towels with the gnomes and here's a look at some of their ribbon which seems like it is selling out you know they have the welcome with the shamrocks they also have the camper of course and the truck with the rainbow here's a closer look it says good luck and happy st patrick's day as always we already know dollar tree puts out very cute seasonal holiday socks and let me show you what's on the other side of this display easter yeah so they have the bunny pigs, the egg pigs, the carrots. But look at the beads. They are back. These sold out so fast last year. Alright, let's go on to their Valentine's Day items. So they have these metal signs over here. Some pink or red mesh tube. Lots of this is for crafting. So I'm just going to pull back my camera so you guys can see. They have these heart-shaped plaques. The metal mailboxes from last year are back. All right. They have this six-feet garland. I thought these stickers were super cute. They have lots of felt flowers. These are more kind of purpley. These are the wood chip items. They call these sticky paper flowers. They have some silver glitter. The pom-pom garlands in different color combinations or just, you know, solid red or pink. These roses are so, so pretty. And they also have the heart lace ribbon. All right, let's look at this wall. So they have all of their tinsel items. And here's a look at some of their signs. They also have their window clings. So they have this one with lots of hearts. They have the red truck. They have this one. Okay, look at this sign here. All you need is love, darling. It does come with beads. They also have a black version right there. Down here, they have their long signs. The red one says, you are perfect in every way. They also have hugs and kisses. Kind of looks like um, faux wood in the background. And then they have this pink one here, which I think I liked the best out of the three 
love you always. Personally, I'm aiming more for the pink this year. The pink and white. These signs are all the ones we saw last year. I don't know if you guys remember. I remember this one was very popular. These are so cute. All right. On the other side, they also have these signs here, which are new. You will forever be my always. This is, I don't know. It reminds me of the ones that Dollar General puts out, but just in a smaller version. Over there, I love you to the moon and back. They have a hot pink one. Together is my favorite place to be. So yeah, these are bigger than the ones that Dollar General usually puts out. Love is the closest thing to magic. But very similar in design, I must say. All right, they do have more signs over here. They have the truck and the camper. They have roses, which I thought was pretty. This one's also new from this year. Happy Valentine's Day, loads of love. Really, really nice. I do want to say that the... Um, metal thing is actually you know real not like fake or just printed on I should say kissing booth love is all you need the love one with the pink and white gingham is very cute I did like that one these also have beads just wanted to point that out and then these are, you know, very, very awesome for just $1.25. I think these are going to go fast. I do like that they did both versions. Hobby Lobby has some similar to these. So if you don't want to waste, you know, too much, get these. The ones from Hobby Lobby, at least the pink one, um, doesn't have any red. So if any of you, you know, just do straight up pink and white then the one at Hobby Lobby is the one you should get. Just FYI, here's another pretty sign. It does have some gold foil in between. You can see it right there. It shines very pretty though. And then they have these signs here, Home Sweet Home, Kissing Booth. And then this one with the red truck, Happy Valentine Day. Let me put it out so you guys can see. It does have the, you know, shiplap lines there. Alright, I wanted to continue with the signs. Love is the most beautiful thing in life. Those look like rainbows. These are new this year. These are totally unique and different. Definitely breaking apart, you know, from the traditional Valentine's Day decor. And they have more signs. Yes. I was like, wow. So the mason jar signs are new. These tag signs are, you know, always cute. Hey, you're cute with the camper. I like you a lot with the bicycle. These are also new this year. Very pretty. Hugs, kisses, and Valentine wishes. Those are awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I thought these were more signs, but they're actually gift bags. All right. So I almost missed these, but they are from last year. So, you know, if you couldn't get them last year, they have them this year again. They have these again. Although I do want to point out that the pink from this year is, I don't know. It's not like a, I don't know. The color is very different from the one that they had last year. I did find their mason jar signs. They do have four versions. Here's the fourth one. They do have the galvanized metal. And then they have the stakes over here. They have the gnomes. One says love. The other one has an uh, envelope that says XOXO. 
that these were cute. Seems like these metal sticks sold out fast. They only had one of each. So here is the camper. Happy Valentine. The love note that says be mine. And they have this truck over here. Love you more. Struck by love. Over here they have the candy heart signs back. So they have the green one that says be mine. The purple one says XOXO. They also have a blue one that says cutie pie. I did get one of the pink ones. I'll do a haul of everything I've purchased so far. Alright, over here they have some cute boxes. These have the gnomes. And they have the gnomes in, you know, different skin tones, which I thought was cute. All three of them are a different shade. Be mine with the flowers. They're classic mailboxes. Lots of knickknacks over here. They have their heart doilies, some sacks some sticker boxes they do have more sticks over here the red one says sweetheart they have the pink one that says love i almost missed the blue one it says hug me they look like candy hearts here are more signs with the foil or the gold foil design i should say be mine They also have a red one that says love. Let me pull it out so you guys can see. I don't know. I thought these were very pretty. All right. Let's continue. They have their placemats. More sacks. Lots of cute things for the kids. Some stamps. Some pencils. Their buckets as always. These are plastic. They also have these plastic containers in red or with a pink design. These are heart shaped. They felt very thick. Some tumblers. These gumball machines always go fast. Look at some of their towels. These feel like the flower sack kind. There's gnome buddy like you. So cute. They also have this one with the truck. The plaid I thought was cute. I'm on my way to seal your heart. They do have another one with a bicycle. This one here. Will you be my valentine? I thought the puns they use were cute. Be mine. These are different. They also have the bike though. The risers or stands are back in white, light pink, and red just like last year. These are very good for that price. And yes, they do have more signs. Dogs welcome, people tolerated. So they do have kind of like a pet theme going on as well. Mixed in with the Valentine's Day decor. That was just a jade roller. Home is where my cat is. This is another Dollar Tree on a different day. But they did have different things that I did not find in the other store. They have cute tote bags. The teddy bear tinsel decor are, you know, a classic of every year. Look at this one with the unicorn. I thought the faux wood job on those signs were fabulous. They have this sign here. It's a dangling sign. Kind of looks like donuts in a heart shape. It says, so sweet. And then look at these beaded hearts, guys. You can just add some flowers. So cute. Yeah, so these are the signs I really liked. 
all right let me pull back so you guys can see they do have you know their christmas decor 50 percent off they also had these over here in pink red or white and then i found the last of the st patrick's day gnomes in this store this store also had these fabulous St. Patrick's Day beads. Look at the charm size at the ends. And, you know, they look, you know, very well made. So if you're doing St. Patrick's Day decor, I would suggest get, getting these, you know, because they're going to sell really fast. They also have the gnome. They have ribbon and I don't know. They're very well made, guys, I must say. So from where I was standing, I totally missed the little ones right there. If you can see it, they're also beaded, but much shorter. Kiss Me, I'm Irish. It's kind of like a burlap sign. Very cute. And they also have these with the tinsel. I thought the feet on these were cute. So they have three different versions. They have some door knockers. More stickers. They have their Valentine's Day scarves. I told you guys I wasn't lying at the beginning of this video when I said they had so much, guys. And we're like halfway through this video. So I hope you guys can, you know, stick around all the way to the end. Free kisses may contain slobber. I thought this one was super cute. I think it was my favorite out of all the pet related signs. Love, dog mom, blessed pet obsessed. And then over here, they did have these. Kissing booth, 25 cents. Have a bite. You can rotate that little heart at the bottom. Here's a look at the pink version. Look what I found in this store. They have the gnomes. I have many subscriber friends on this channel who are always, um, you know, asking me to show when I find more inclusive items. So, look guys, I thought you guys would love to see those. They also have these here at the bottom. The sizes on these are pretty nice for $1.25. Here's the girl with the braids. I also found these adorable plushies. Their faces are so cute. This one looks like a cupcake. My favorite, I think, was this one with the donut. So, so cute. I think that's a milkshake. <laughs> Some Valentine's Day socks. I thought the s'more one was so cute. All right, they have some potted roses, more mailboxes down there, some signs, you are loved. Look what I found here at the bottom. These are ceramic, guys, so they have thankful. Very much, you know, Ray Dunn inspired. They also have love, family. Hmm. What do you guys think? They also have these plastic containers in three colors. They have these pumice stone, nail files, eye masks, some brushes, many cute things for a gift basket. They have these masks for lips or, you know, for the face. Those look like some bath bombs. On this end cap, I found lots of adorable uh, garden figurines, guys. Many of you guys like to collect these. Look at the chicken coop. They also have the tractor, the pig. They had so many. Look at the wishing well. It looks like, um, like it has some frosting. I spotted these stones. More of the cute houses, these over here. 
How cute. Look at that one with the handle. So you guys can compare, you know, the color or the paint drop difference, like I was telling you guys, between um, both of those. Look at these with the apples. They have the carrots. Oh, so cute. Look at that bunny. Lots of cute stuff in this store. The windmill. All right. So on the other side, they had more Valentine's Day items. So um, these are just some of their ribbons. They do have these in four different colors. Those right there. More items for DIY. Love. And yes, more figurines. Look at that tree. The bench. For those that, uh, you know, make a whole little scenery, you guys are going to love these. Garden. They had so much going on. Look at these metal galvanized ones. They also have the watering can. Garden. They have these galvanized uh, picks. This box had lots of crafting items as well. I had so much fun, guys, on these. Look at this box that I spotted down here. They have more figurine garden items. So that one was a chicken coop. Let me fix it. This one kind of looks like a carrot. I think this one's supposed to be a strawberry. Although the red on that one could have been, you know, a little bit redder. It's kind of more on the orange side. I think this one's supposed to be a cactus. Another windmill. How fun. And we are not done with the garden DIY things. Look at the gnome, the watering cans. So much. They have welcome. These have snails or bunnies. And then these I thought were so cute. They have some bees with the beads. Here's a closer look. They also have the butterfly with the green beads. All of these are wood. They have the ladybug, the birdies. These mini flower pots I thought were so cute. These over here are actually chalkboard. And here's another end cap with more of these figurine items. So cute. Some seashells, some sandcastles, the lobster, the pelican, the flamingo, some gnomes. And then look at these. Aren't they so cute? Craft wood 3D bees. And they also have the ladybugs. Oh my goodness, those were super adorable. Really quickly, I just wanted to show you what they had down this aisle. Everything matches. I do really like this pink color, you guys know. And these are just, you know, the hot items right now. These um, storage containers. Look at this cute mug I found. Just brew it. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I just couldn't take it out because all of the mugs were stacked on top of each other with that plastic in between. But anyway, 
Now look at all of the great items that I found in the Crafter Square section. All of this is just new items that I thought you guys would like to see. They have these with the black and they also have beads guys. So you can add whatever you want. Look at these stakes with the black and white check. Wow. Lots of possibilities. Here are more with the full shiplap, the beads. Basically the perfect, you know, foundation for any cute sign. Here I'm just showing you that it does come in a rectangular shape as well. I spotted this one which I thought was great. Here's another one that, you know, is basically, you know, already done. You just have to add whatever you want. But the faux wood looks very cute with that green or greenery detail at the top. And then look at these farmhouse signs. I think you get three per pack. It has gather, farm fresh. Filled with joy. The designs are these are super cute. They also have the barn. They have a truck blessed so nice and i did place those back after filming this look at these tag signs with the beads guys wow it does come in white as well here's another dangling um, sign these diy crafter square items are you know getting better and better look what's also new they have a chicken or hen. They also have the cow, guys. I just couldn't believe, you know, how much I found. The pig. Perfect for all of those that love the farmhouse. Here are more steaks with the chalkboard. They have these that are in a house shape. Some trucks. Look at these. So many possibilities with all of these items. Before continuing, I know these may be a little random, but aren't they so cute? Some velvet push pins if you don't want to like have like the regular ones and look at these that have the pearls i was so so surprised guys all right i don't know if these came out you know towards the end of christmas i honestly haven't been here at dollar tree for you know a good two weeks i believe but i thought these were cute so they have home family they also have love love is all you need Home is where the heart is. Some of these, you know, are great for Valentine's Day. So that's why I wanted to show them. Their little calendars are back. Gratitude is the best attitude. That one looks like a mason jar. This one has a house shape. Home is where our story begins. We also have this one. It's so good to be home. Grateful, thankful, blessed. The trucks are back. Loads of love. Special delivery. And I'm pretty sure I showed these in my last video. Alright, over here I did find some random beta strands. I thought these were perfect for St. Patrick's Day decor if you're doing that because of the rainbow. All right. Over on this aisle, they had a few new things I haven't seen. Thankful, blessed. They have live simply. Here's a look at the towels. 
they have a new coffee related um, set everything gets better with coffee we have seen these already although these could also be for Valentine's Day if you enjoyed this shop with me, please press that like button, subscribe if you are new, and push that notification bell to be notified the next time I post a video. I will be hitting up Dollar General, Target, Ross, TJ Maxx, all of the good stores. So, you know, definitely don't miss those. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. A virtual hug. Goodbye.